Hey guys, I'm recording for my G7X, which is really hard to do an external clean feed. You get this sort of autofocus bracket in the middle usually, but I've fiddled and with it a lot and I, on manual, it seems to not show that, that square after a while, after going back and forth in the menu so, so many times. So the picture quality should be so much better than the Hero 4 Silver. Should be so much better, shouldn't it? It's probably out of focus though. Um, I wanted to talk to you today quickly about containers, especially the Amazon version of it, uh, which is called Elastic Container Service. Pretty complicated, but I think I'm getting good to do it. But I wrote this blog, um, sort of trying to help you guys and myself document the problems I had. So the, the major issue I have with containers is, um, so in the traditional way of, of scaling something up, you have like these, um, on, especially, this, I'm talking in the context of Amazon here, you have some alarms, uh, like an auto scaling group or something like that. If, if the CPU is too heavy, it spawns a new instance, the load balancer distributes it on the two instances. If that's um, too loaded, then a third one, fourth one, fifth one, uh, you know, just depending how you set it up, the load balancer will split the load on 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 those X instances, and that's how you scale up. Now with containers, um, you have a service on, um, you can run several services on, on each instance. So it's a little bit more versatile, you would think. You can maybe um, say, say you had like 50 instances running, um, each running, um, each 50 uh, services. Now you could have 50 instances running more services because they could be somehow better better distributed. But the trouble is, I in my mind, like this is the most interesting graphic here. What happens if service two is like really max loaded? What happens to service one and three? Are they, are they killed? Are they also scaled up? And, and another huge problem with the auto scaling uh, features of um, of ECS is that it's it's not it's not available in, in in every in every region yet. It's only available in these three regions, so the scalability of the services is a bit nuts. Another problem I find with the with the Docker uh, on 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 Amazon is that um, at least with their interface, you're supposed to set the maximum memory and and some CPU unit. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, sorry. That doesn't make any sense to me because, because the cool thing about Docker is that you can use the, all the resources of that machine, right? You know, so you don't have to say, oh, you only get one gigabyte. I mean, you can, you can limit the, 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 the amount of memory, but, but say you're running on a host that has 16 gigabytes of memory and say you had a, um, a process that needed to, to use all 16 gigabytes of memory momentarily, it could. Um, so I'm really struggling to understand the whole Elastic Container stuff. Please check out my blog, debase.com. Please comment and like the video if you're interested in the topic. I, I did write um, a blog about where I think DevOps is going. I think it's going towards containers, but the trouble is, I mean, Amazon, Amazon EC2 is a virtualized uh, VPS to begin with. It's not running on bare metal, which probably Docker containers should be running on. The way that they've done it, and, and I dare say Amazon is the best um, platform, these mean with a lot of questions. So I hope you guys can help out, right? And I hope you enjoyed the video quality. It's better. It's better than it's better than this, right? It's better than this. Please compare. Please compare. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a like.